welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about one of the most popular Korean skincare products online at the moment. It's the Garrison 9 Complex Horse Oil Cream. So when I first heard about this product, I kind of freaked out because if they were killing horses for their fat and their oil for you know beauty, that would really hurt my feelings because they are such beautiful animals. But I was recently informed that they are not hurting the horses for this. What they do, well, for the Garrison brand at least, is that they take the fat from the base of the horse's mane. So they are not harmed in any way and, you know, they're safe. So that makes me very happy because I am a big animal lover. And, you know, if you're, they're killing animals for beauty, that's just really sad. So the practice for using horse oil for the skin started in ancient China. This was around the 5th century and they were using it for scars and burns. So it was a medicinal cream at the time and then later on it was used for beauty. So a lot of people who have been complaining that they have dry and dull skin, uh, they've been using it recently and they say that uh, their skin uh, is now brighter and healthier and a lot more hydrated and also people with eczema are also saying that their condition got a lot better after using horse oil cream. So I recently received this product and I thought that we could open it together so that I could take you through the whole process and we can talk about how you can identify an original versus the fake because this product is very popular there are a lot of fakes out there especially online and you know if you end up getting a fake one I suggest that you don't use it because you don't know what's in there and it may harm your skin all right so let's start the first thing you can do to make sure that you are getting an authentic garrison horse oil product is to make sure that you are buying from a trusted online seller so for me it's althea korea and if you're from korea singapore or malaysia you can also buy from there they will deliver it to your doorstep but if you got your garrison product from somewhere else this is how you can tell whether what you have in your hands is actually authentic so let's start with the packaging first so it should come in a cylindrical orange container. On the top, there's a brown border. And running my fingers through it, it feels like it is slightly textured. Because it shouldn't be too much and it shouldn't be too flat. And on the front, there is the logo with the brand name. So at the back of the packaging is a barcode. This is how it should look. And on the top, it should say 9 complex. The font is pretty thin with the ends of each letter thinning out as you can see right there. Next there should be two stickers on the side of the packaging. So there's one and then there's the other one. So there should be like Korean characters around it and then right in the middle it should say 9 complex. So there you go. That's how it looks. And at the bottom of the packaging, you will see the product information. So it's all in Korean. And here you will also see a sticker, which is actually a barcode. You have to download the Hidden Tag for Clara's app on your smartphone and use it to scan the sticker to see whether the product you have is actually an original. So this is one of the new security features that Claire's, the mother company of this brand, started. All right, so now we're going to open this product to see how it looks inside. Let me just use my nails to open up one of the stickers all right and now there you go that's how it looks inside okay let me just put this down so I can pull out some of the stuff that's in here first there is a brochure uh, okay all right there it is so this is how it looks like on the inside and when you open it, there's a lot of Korean in there, but there's also a page that has like some of the words in English. So it says here that it has the power to preserve moisture for 72 hours and it will improve the elasticity, the lifting and moisturizing of your skin and it helps like strengthen your skin barrier. So that sounds pretty good. Okay, we're gonna move on to the spatula. This is the spatula that you can find inside the product. So it has the words Garrison on it. So it's a pretty fancy like, spatula. Like all my other Korean products don't have anything of this thick. Like some are really flimsy. This 
is the actual jar that contains the product. So indeed, it is made of thick, sturdy glass. It's pretty tiny. It has 70 grams of product inside. And yeah, it has a gold clear sticker on the side. If you can see it properly. And the cap of the jar, like the design is embossed and it has the brand name there as well. So I don't know if you can see it properly, but there it is. So it has to be embossed. I, I read somewhere that the fake ones are like just flat and some even have like a printed cap. So that pretty much sucks, right? It's pretty obvious that it's fake. So now we're going to open it. Okay. I was... I totally thought it was going to be hard to open, but yeah, it's pretty easy. And inside, there's a plastic lid, and there's also a seal, which you can see on the side. Yeah, so it's going to be a bit of work to open this. Let's try. Oh, no, it's easy. I'm always so scared of breaking a nail. <laughs> okay. And now I'm gonna lift this. Ooh, okay. Mmm. This thing, okay, this product has the lightest hint of citrus. So I don't know if it's just my nose, but I can totally smell a very slight hint of animal fat. So. If you have a sensitive nose, you might smell it as well, but it doesn't bother me. It also has a very tiny hint of citrus, but otherwise the smell is very tolerable. It's not something that's like too overpowering. Because like, you know, some moisturizers have that like really, really sweet smell that it gives me a headache. But this one, this one we're all good. All right, so yeah. I kind of got addicted to smelling it for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> So that is how it looks. It's pale. It's pale cream, has a hint of yellow right there. So, I don't know, is the lighting good enough? I'm actually shooting at night, but I actually have a mix of yellow and white light trying to mimic natural light. So, but if not, I actually post photos of this on the blog, so do watch out for that. And now let's try the texture. So I'm gonna get a bit of it here on the side and put it on my hand. Okay, so this is how it looks. So it kind of has the texture of whipped butter. So if you're somebody who bakes, you'll get what I mean. And it's easily spreadable. So, yeah, okay, that feels pretty good. It's a bit like, Okay, it's not that sticky once you've already like, spread it evenly on your skin. Okay, and it's not too heavy. So I expected it to be a heavy cream, but not so much. And it's not too shiny on your hand either, but I won't use this for the day. Um, I think it's better to use this as a night cream. And yeah, that's how it looks. And hand. So after 10 minutes, I can totally say that my skin has fully absorbed the product and so far it feels very much hydrated, moisturized and it's supple and bouncy. So for a first impression, I am really liking this product for my skin. Okay, so that's all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. And I will definitely be back soon with a review of this product. So with that said, I will see you guys again soon. Bye!